Today, we're gonna to go back to our childhood with a chocolate Coke. However, we're going to make an adult version of that. My name is David Edwards, and it's great to have you here today. When I talk about a chocolate Coke, I'm not talking about the early sodas that you would have seen from around 1910 to 1920 that had chocolate syrup, had ice cream, maybe some sprinkles on top and a red cherry if you were lucky. No, I'm talking more about the style that you would have seen in the 80s, 90s, and early 2000s that you would have gotten in a can by your regular distributors. Now, you don't see them very often, or at least I don't where I live. However, an adult version is really easy to make, and it is a build-in-a-glass cocktail. But before we get into this, today's video is sponsored by the Vector Bar Mixology app for the iPhone. Now, I did say this was a build-in-a-glass cocktail, so what you want to make sure is you grab yourself an entire glass full of ice. And when you fill the glass, make sure it's completely full of ice because you will get a little bit of dilution as we pour our ingredients over. But we're going to start with a white rum. Now I'm using lambs, use whatever you want. However, we're going to start this with a total of two ounces or 60 milliliters. Once you've added that, you're going to add a chocolate liqueur. Now in this case, the original recipe that I saw called for a Godiva's chocolate liqueur, but I'm gonna use some uh, McGinnis creme de cacao. It's what I can get. Use what you can get. So if you don't have anything fancy, get the basics. Now we're gonna use a total of one ounce or 30 milliliters. Your next ingredient is a coffee liqueur. All I have is a little bit of Kahlua, but if you're looking to minimize the added sugar in this, you might wanna use something like a Mr. Black or a Tia Maria. This, however, will continue with that sort of sweet, syrupy flavor that you would expect from any kind of cola. And we're going to use a total of one ounce or 30 mils. Our next step here is we're gonna add a little bit more ice just to kind of fill the glass up all the way. Uh, if you don't want to, it's up to you. So just add three or four more cubes and then grab your cola of choice. Now the recipe calls for about six ounces, which is 180 mils. I'm using Coke here. Again, if you're diet conscious, something like a Coke Zero. Okay, so what you can do now as a quick hint is you could add a little bit of your cola first, then as your liquor and spirits, then finish up with your uh, cola because that way you'll get a little bit more of that effervescence throughout the entire drink. Because you know what? You always want to have bubbles throughout the drink. Grab yourself a Francie straw and give it a try. It is sweet. You get those coffee hints and chocolate hints right there. In fact, they supersede the Coke, but it is an easy to drink cocktail, but be wary, there's a fair amount of liquor in here as well, because you know what? A couple of those, and you'll be sitting down and enjoying yourself. If you like this style of cocktail, take a look after the recipe card right up here.